Okay, today we're going to do a complete uh, uh, overview of the throttle mechanism on the carts. Okay, so let's start with the gas pedal. Uh, gas pedal is very simple, it just goes up and down like that. These two bolts down here, these uh, eight millimeter, uh, well, I guess you use a 13 millimeter wrench on them, but anyways, those are M8 bolts. Uh, those are what stop the throttle pedal from going down in race cart mode. When you flip this over, this is what stops the pedal in sprint cart mode. So those two are completely separate for adjustments, okay? So if you have a cart that doesn't have a, if in race cart mode it does not have enough top speed, like it peters out too early, a chance, it's the, these two that need to be adjusted. If you have a cart that's too fast or too slow in sprint cart mode, it's this one that needs to be adjusted. And it just uh, adjusts how far the pedal goes down, okay? So from there, we have a rod. See, this rod goes here and it goes through a little tube in here. It goes underneath there, comes all the way back to here. And I will push on the throttle on the pedal now and you can see how that moves, okay? Now, sometimes these joints here, they break, all right? So you need to replace it. Now this cart, in this particular case, this cart, this piece was replaced and whoever replaced it when they put the new one in, uh, they, they bolted into this hole instead of where it was in this hole. So guess what? That threw it out of adjustment. So uh, when you're doing it, you got to make sure that you put it back exactly the way it was. And when you're putting replacing this piece, you have to look at how many threads are sticking here. And when you put the new one on, you've got to make sure that it's the same. Okay. So now that you have that on there, then, well, let's spin off this air cleaner cover so we can see this better. You can see there's a different kind of joint here at the front. Now, eventually I want all the carts to use this kind of joint, but right now this one has two, two different styles. So if you have to replace it, replace it with the same style because believe it or not, this one, the length of it is slightly different than that one. So if you replace that one with a joint like this, the throttle mechanism would be out of adjustment. It would not work properly. Okay, so now we're at that point in the adjustment. Now you have this arm. These arms, I get these laser cut, these arms, and this little nut here can become loose. So you gotta make sure that that is not, it's gotta be tight enough that it doesn't have a whole lot of slot, but loose enough that it still moves. If you tighten that up too much, this will just lock in a position like that and it won't spring back. Okay. Um, from that arm, you have these governor springs right here. Uh, these carts, some have two of these springs, some have three. They look like this. Okay, so that, those uh, springs are what, uh, there's a little governor inside the motor that, that uh, limits the amount of RPM that a cart will rev to. These springs counteract that. Now, the factory has one spring on here and the carts will only rev to 3200 RPM. Well, we double those springs and sometimes triple those springs so that we can get more RPMs out of the carts and more performance. So if one of these snaps, and occasionally one will snap or one will fall off or whatever, um, if you have a cart that does not go fast enough in race cart mode or sprint cart mode, that's your first place you wanna look is like, oh, are those things in place? Like are those, do, does it have two springs there? Or if, if it has a, had a third one and the third one broke, you'll see it lying down in this area here because it's broken off and fallen down. You need to replace that. And when you do that, you gotta, you gotta check the RPMs. You gotta make sure that the cart revs to proper RPMs. You do that with this RPM gauge. Okay, so this is called an inductive RPM gauge or tack. And uh, you just clip it onto the cart, see? And there's more than one of these around. Uh, not all of them are on the clip. Usually they're just by themselves like this. But there's a wire that just sits in the back of it. I can't really see it, but the wire comes out of here and it wraps around, you see how it wraps around the spark plug wire and it senses the signal for the spark going through there and that's how it determines RPM. So when you start the cart up, it'll show RPMs here. In race cart mode, the cart should rev to no more than 5,250 RPM and in sprint cart mode, no more than 3,150 RPM. So you gotta adjust that. All right, now uh, from that point, um, since we're talking about throttle mechanisms, this uh, adjustment here is for the power that the cart makes. So this is how we make a cart more powerful or less powerful and adjust for lap time. So if you have a cart that is uh, too fast, you would turn this, you would loosen this nut off and you would turn this bolt 
one full rotation and that would slow the cart down by around three tenths of a second per lap, okay? If you have a cart that's too slow and it's not a handling issue, sometimes the cart's too slow because it's got a tire pressure has gone down or something like that. If, it's, if it just seems like it's a power issue, then you would turn this bolt out or that way and it would increase the power of the cart and make and speed it up. Okay, so from now, a new addition to the cart is this anti-throttle mechanism that I've installed, okay? So this, you see this cable here, it goes down, it goes down to this arm, you can't really see it in there, but it goes down to the governor arm and it goes around and is, goes down to the brake pedal, okay? So when you push on the brake pedal, all right, uh, you can see that that cable, it stiffens up. Now what happens is that if a customer pushes the gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time, this cable pulls on the throttle and it pulls it back to idle so that a customer cannot push gas and brake at the same time because that destroys transmissions and brakes. So it's a safety issue. And now here's the little thing that you need to remember about this anti-throttle system. The way it's adjusted, when the brake pedal is all the way down, you'll see that that cable goes tight. Well, what happens if you go to bleed the brakes on this cart, you're gonna go to bleed the brakes on it and you're gonna push that pedal down farther than it has been pushed down before. You're gonna stretch this cable out or break it even. So uh, you need, when you're bleeding the brakes, you need to be careful of that, okay? So don't push the brake pedal down too far when you are bleeding the brakes because uh, it will damage this anti-throttle system that we have in the carts. Now you notice that there's a little bit of slack in here. That's because we don't want uh, we don't want it to, uh, like right now the cart's not running, so that cable is slack. Um, when it's running, this cable tends to go a little tighter. But uh, anyway, okay, so that's how that works. Now, uh, the other important thing to remember, and uh, the reason that I'm making this video actually is because last week I came in and there was three carts missing their throttle return spring, okay? And today I came in on a Sunday morning to fix a cart because it apparently had a throttle problem and all it was was this spring was missing. Uh, if you're walking around the track and you notice there's a spring like this out on the track, you need to find where that spring came from. Chances are there is a cart running around with no throttle return spring. Now, without that throttle return spring, uh, somebody's gonna step on the throttle, it's gonna go like this, and it's not gonna go back all the way. And if it doesn't go back all the way, it's just gonna wanna take off all the time. All right, so that is a complete overview of the throttle mechanism. Um, it all needs to be adjusted correctly to have the proper RPMs for everything to work right. And now that you know how everything functions, you should be able to figure out uh, how to adjust it properly, okay? Well, that's it, thanks.